everyone, welcome to Teaching with Tania. I am Tania, of course, and I am so glad that you clicked on this video because I was once in your shoes. I once was struggling to pass the Praxis Core as well. In this video, I'm giving you all the tips and tricks that I used to pass all three of my Praxis Core exams to continue on with my education degree, so I would love to help you guys out. Stay tuned for the rest of this video and don't forget to Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I would very much appreciate it. Let's get into these videos. Start off even before you even start practicing or studying for the Praxis Core test. I just want you to know that it's not as bad as it seems trust me i know that's easier said than done but there is a lot of pressure on you especially if you have a calling to be a teacher and you know this is basically an obstacle getting in the way of that because you have to pass your praxis core exams to continue on with education classes that's what happened at my school and so it's probably the same for you guys as well but realize that if you pass it you're done <laughs> but you may have to take um, other practice core tests, not specifically these, but other tests later on in your career. But just know that if you start early enough, you can take it again and take it again and take it again. So let's go ahead and hop into the reading exam. Reading is the one I struggled with the most. I actually failed it twice. Um, no, I failed it the first time, passed it the second time. I had to take the test twice myself. So, to let you know, I'm coming straight from your shoes. Um, I don't necessarily like reading, especially if I'm being timed. So, what helped me pass my test was going back and looking at the questions. Sometimes the questions... Most of the time you have to read a passage, answer the questions about it so that they understand your comprehension of the passage. Um, I sometimes skimmed over it and when I was reading it to gain comprehension, it did not make, like I forgot what I read. Like that's common for most people. Like after you read it, you're so focused on reading it and reading it fast so that you have enough time to do other parts of the test. I just did not comprehend I did not comprehend what I was reading so to save time energy effort all of that I clicked I was able to um go ahead and read the questions and then point out what I was looking for in the regular um passages so <clears throat> that's what helped me although that's probably a general tip but at the end of the day it saves you a lot of time because you already know what you're looking for and to pick out in those passages. So that's a really good tip. Read the questions before reading the passage for the reading practices exam. Another general tip is to mark questions and come back to them. Uh, before you submit, make sure you just remember those questions that you were able to write down. Um, obviously, well, it's probably not obvious. I maybe never have told you guys, but my testing situation was different because I had to take mine at home during the whole lockdown quarantine situation because there was nowhere for me to take it. So I had to take mine at home with a proctor. But that made it even more frustrating because somebody was sitting there looking at you and all that pressure on you while you're taking this test. So it was really nerve wracking, but I just had to zone in on my test and realize that this is for me, not for them, whoever was proctoring my exam anyway so back to what I was um, stating before yeah make sure you read your questions before reading the passage and also if you don't understand a question do not sit there and dwell on it just mark it and make sure to come back to it at the end once you have answered everything for that section also for me the first time I took the test I basically read basic like I said before the whole thing the second time through, I had to skim. I had to skim so that I had time to answer all the questions and get a chance to read and comprehend all the questions. So skimming was imperative for me, whether that was skimming um, the question answer choices, easily marking out what didn't make sense, but also going back and skimming the paragraphs as well or the passages. 
that they had us read. I was able to go back and double check all of my answers because sometimes I was just clicking stuff just to be clicking stuff and I just like literally the first time I was so over it I was just clicking stuff but the second time once I passed it was because I went back looked at the questions and tried to see like if this is my correct final answer. Well, on top of that at my school we have a testing um helper that helps with tests and stuff like that and we actually sat down together and did the practice core practice test online i will link that down below um because that really helped me after i paid 90 dollars and failed the first time i was like okay i have to pass the second time so for the reading one um i did go get some extra help with that and we also went over, they had a Praxis test book in our library. And I was able to read those passages just to get my brain familiar with what would be on the test. Um, and those are on Amazon and bookstores all over. And you can even check your own school library as well that you might can be able to check it out for free. But I encourage you to practice with those books because not only does it get you in the mindset of the way they ask questions but also practice timing yourself reading and it's like like a game day feel to it because <clears throat> you can practice and practice all day long like i play basketball practice is totally different than in games so you need that game like rep so um make sure you can also get those books wherever down below and they also have free practice tests online for the reading one for the writing practice score, they want to see you able to write coherently, like the way you structure your writing and if what you're filling in that structure, whether it's outline, whatever, logically, and it makes logical sense. For the writing one, there was four sections. Um, one, you actually had to write um, responding to a prompt or a paragraph, whatever they gave you. And the other one was like, grammar, correcting sentences, um, grammatical errors and stuff like that. They want to be able to know that you know your correct grammar rules. So um, for those, I passed the first one pretty easily. But in that book that I referred to with the reading test, look back at that as well because they have a bunch of writing for you as well. I mean, writing practice things for you as well in there. For the grammatical section of the writing portion of the practice core test, what helped me with this part was plugging my sense, plugging what I knew into the sentence. So like, did this make sense if I read this like this with a comma here, with a comma here, which one made the most sense? Because if you've made it to college, then you obviously know how to write something. So being able to see the correct grammar mistakes sometimes we talk better than we write better grammatical so for me being able to talk um in my head and read those grammatical sentences out loud most of the time i was able to correct what i was writing or whatever they were asking me to see an error in a sentence or not also um on this test you have i think a citations that you have to like formatting um things that you need to know that was i don't think that was in the practice book but i um looked at formatting things online it's a bunch of videos out there that lets you practice with rules grammatical stuff all of that so i will also link those writing materials that helped me down below some of the videos are lengthy i'm not gonna lie but if you have enough time to practice and actually go through those, those will serve you a great deal in the long run because when you pass all your tests, you won't have to take them again. <laughs> Last but not least, we can move on to the math portion of the Praxis Core exam. They give you specific themes. I think it was pre-algebra, something else, but basically they want to see that you know how to do math, whether it's mental math or um the algebraic i think graphs they had on there whatever the themes are that you are being tested on just brush up on your practice with those there are um, a bunch of resources out there for like Kumon academy or even 
the book itself. It literally helped me a lot, but I passed the math one on my first try as well. So I just had to retake my reading one. But make sure that whatever math topics that they're giving you to study and brush up on those because obviously you'll be tested on them. Also for the math section, what I can say is what you what you think in your head may be different than if you actually write or know on paper. Um, sometimes you catch your mistakes when you are writing it out. Uh, I mean, when you're doing it in your head. So it's important to write out the math problem um, if you have time. And then you have to think you had to throw it away with my proctor as soon as the um, test was over. But make sure that you do have pencil, paper, calculator. Um, they may have a built-in calculator on the actual test. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. But lastly, I just wanted to give you guys a general tip of when taking these tests. If you fall under pressure a lot or the ticking clock in the corner irritates the mess out of you, make sure that you try your best not to look at it because it's only going to build your anxiety level when it needs to be at an all-time low so you can focus your best on taking the test. I'm not sure if you have the option of taking all three of them separately or you have to do all three of them together or there may also be a deal where you do all three of them together and it's cheaper than doing them all individually but I knew my brain could not handle being in that testing um, like mindset for that long of a time so I did all three of mine individually and then I got those scores back and then turns out how to retake another one which was the reading so with practice and also the tips that I have given you now I hope you do the best that you can on all of them and remember if not you could retake it but <clears throat> after a certain amount of tries you may want to reach out to whether it's your college or even a tutor for help. I hope this knowledge was insightful for you and the resources that I will leave down below. Be sure to check those out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if this video um, helped you out a lot in your teaching career. But also, if you got any value from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.